Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy event of the week. Each week our staff of analysts and educators tries to provide you a better understanding of a major market event scheduled soon and that will have an effect on the global markets. Lately all financial news headlines have been concentrated on oil prices ever since OPEC production soared after major OPEC member Saudi Arabia determined to ignore quotas at its meeting in November 2014. Since that time oil prices have plummeted as much as 68% causing havoc to oil producing nations around the globe as well as sparking market fears. An emergency meeting of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries meeting may be convened in March to discuss issues relating to lower oil prices and output cuts. Speaking at the 7th Gulf Intelligence UAE Energy Forum organized by the Gulf Intelligence, Dr. Emmanuel E.B. Kachikwu, Minister of State for Petroleum Resources of Nigeria, who is president of OPEC, also said a couple of the members of the OPEC had requested an emergency meeting. Meeting. Venezuela reaffirmed a mid-March meeting of oil producers that would include Saudi Arabia, Russia and Qatar to stabilize prices that have slumped 70% in a 20-month rout. The four countries are involved in an effort to get oil producers in the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries and elsewhere to freeze production at January's highs. Many traders believe an output cut and not freeze is what the market needs to clear the global crude glut. It's the Venezuela headline that got the market excited enough to rebound, though it's baffling why everyone knows of this meeting and that it's not going to achieve anything, said John Kilduff, partner at Again Capital, a New York energy hedge fund. The meeting could take place in March. Much will depend on the attitude of OPEC heavyweight Saudi Arabia, which has resisted calls for a cut in production to help boost prices. Led by Saudi Arabia, Gulf Arab producers have poured cold water on previous calls for early meetings by cash-strapped members such as Venezuela and Algeria, saying that output cuts won't work without participation of big non-OPEC producers. OPEC can't change its policy because of low prices, since the group's strategy is working and there was a major reduction in yearly increase from non-OPEC. Suhail al-Mazuri, Energy Minister of United Arab Emirates, said at a conference in Abu Dhabi on Tuesday, non -OPEC OPEC members, including Saudi Arabia, are happy with the slide in prices since the group's last meeting in December, Kachikwu said earlier at the conference in Abu Dhabi. He didn't wish to name the member countries seeking an early meeting and said that in December, Saudi Arabia was supportive of such a meeting if there was a consensus for it. After the lack of consensus at the December meeting, OPEC ministers knew oil prices would fall. Kachikwu said high-cost shale oil producers are showing resilience at low prices and are becoming a constant equation in the oil dynamics, he said.